Okay, so for today we covered uh, standard form of, a, of an equation. Up till now we've used different forms of an equation. This one hopefully should be familiar to y equals mx plus b, where you've got m as the slope and b as the y-intercept. And that is called, oddly enough, slope-intercept form. So hopefully you're familiar with that one. The next one we covered today is something called standard form. And all standard form is looks like this. It's ax plus by equals c, which don't get caught up in the a, b's, and c's. a, b's, and c's are for all real numbers, and it also a and b cannot both be zero. So this is uh, standard form. So the instructions on the homework basically tell you equations, and you're converting them to standard forms. So let's do one. I got y equals 1 half x. Let's try this one. 1 half x. I think this one looks like uh, similar to ones on your homework. 1 half x minus 2. I need to make this look like something x, something y equals something. Does that make sense? ax plus by equals c. So i got to figure out what that is, right? So let me erase this real quick. That's what this is going to look like in the end. So in order to do that, I'm going to look at the equation and say, all right, I need, to, I need to get rid of this fraction right here. This is, that's the bummer of it all. And then I also need to bring the x over to the other side of the equation. But let's get rid of the fraction first. So how do I get rid of the fraction? How do I get rid of 1 half? If I take the denominator of the fraction, which is 2, and multiply every piece of this times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, 2 times a half will cancel and will allow me to get rid of the fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got 2 times y gives me 2y. 2 times 1 half x gives me 1x, or just x if I want. And then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So I'm getting close. Again, let me put it up here. ax plus by equals c. That's what I need it to look like. So I look at this equation. The only other thing I've got to do is pull the 1x over to the other side of the equation, and I think I'm good. So I have to ask myself, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. I can't combine these two over here, so I'm left with negative x or minus 1x either way, plus 2y equals negative 4. Does that look like that, you have to ask yourself? And the answer is yes. I've got negative 1 as a would be negative 1, b would be 2, and c would be negative 4. And all I'm doing there is just taking the coefficients, which is the number in front, and matching, matching them up to the letters of that formula. Let's do another one real quick. So this one says, let's see, let's do this one. Y, y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 3. So I look at that and I say, okay, here we go with a fraction again. I've got a fraction i got to get rid of. How do I get rid of the fraction? Look at the denominator. If I multiply everything by the denominator, I'll be good to go. So I'm going to multiply this by 5, this by 5, and then this by 5. So let me go ahead and do that. 5y equals, so, oh, hold on a minute. I have negative 3 fifths times 5, which is the same as saying negative 3 fifths times 5 over 1. My fives cancel, and I'm left with negative 3 over 1. Let me fix that. Negative 3 over 1, which is the same as negative 3. And what you'll find out as you keep doing this is if I, multi if I keep multiplying fractions by the denominator, I will always end up with just whatever the numerator is for the number. Okay, But I still got to keep going. Plus 3 times 5 gives me 15. Um, and then again, I've got to bring the x over. So I got to add 3x plus 3x. These cannot combine because they're not like. So I just keep it 3x plus 5y equals 15. And that's it. Standard form. It's an ax plus by equals c form. All right. Let me move. Y-intercepts. We've already talked about y-intercepts. Y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, right? X-intercept, we don't talk about too much, but an x-intercept is where the x crosses. Oops, sorry. 
not the X crosses, but where the line, where the line crosses the X axis. So if I look at a graph, and we'll go put some marks, markings on the graph, and I draw a line on here, and let's say the line goes from here, uh, we'll go to here. Got two points on my line. There's my line. What is, so I'd ask the question, based on this graph, what is the x-intercept? Well, the x-intercept is over here at negative 2. So my point would be negative 2, 0. That's what the x-intercept is. The y-intercept is down here at negative 3. So that point would be 0, negative 3. And what I come to realize is that every time the line crosses the x-axis, the y is always going to be 0 no matter what. Every time the line crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is always going to be 0. So we go to the next slide. question says, find the intercepts and graph each line. So here's x minus 4y equals negative 4. Here's an example. So here's how I do these. If I know that I'm trying to find the x-intercept, the y is always 0, so why not plug in 0 for y? And let's see what I got. And what I'll find out is 4 times 0 is gone. So I have x equals negative 4, which ends up being the x-intercept. Let's do the same for the y-intercept. I know that for the y-intercept, if I'm looking for y, x always has to be 0. So I'm going to plug that in, 0 minus 4y equals negative 4. So that's gone. I have negative 4y equals negative 4. y equals 1. Here's your y-intercept. So here's the idea. I now know this line crosses the x-axis at negative 4, and it crosses the y-axis at 1. Graph here. We'll graph it out. x crosses at negative 4, so I am going to put a dot there, and it crosses the y at 1. How many points does it take to make a line? Two. Perfect. There's my line right there, and I'm done. There's my graph of that equation. Do another one real quick. So here's my equation in this case. Let's go, um, <clears throat> let's go 2x plus 5y equals negative 10. Let's go x-intercept first. x-intercept is when y is 0. So I have 2x plus 5 times 0 equals 10. 2x equals 10. x equals 5. Let's go y-intercept over here. y-intercept is when x equals 0. So I have 2 times 0 plus 5y equals negative 10. What's that negative 10? Oh, almost missed that. Negative 10. Uh, that cancels, so I got 5y equals negative 10, y equals negative 2. So I have x crossing the x-axis at negative 5, crossing the y-axis at negative 2. Do a graph crossing the x-axis at negative 5, crossing the y-axis at negative 2. There's my graph. I guess I should put some hash marks in here. There we go. Real simple graph. There's my graph right there.